this is pretty crazy. The uh, when you consider how aggressive Buck Merrick Garland, the AG, was responding to any minor criticism that ever existed, uh, that 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 was raised related to school board meetings, all these different things. He's been almost totally absent on this Supreme Court justice protest-related issue. And a lot of people have started asking, hey, given how many of these uh, Supreme Court justices also live in Virginia, what's the situation with uh, Glenn Youngkin? What's the situation, uh, given the fact there's a Republican governor there, where, well, Glenn Youngkin is now having to speak out and say, hey, Merrick Garland, how about you enforce federal law and protect the homes of Supreme Court justices? Here is uh, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin uh, here, right here at cut two, telling Merrick Garland, do your job. Well, the, the statute is incredibly clear. It basically says if you are parading or picketing in order to try to influence a judge, then it's punishable with up to a year in prison. That sounds illegal to me. And I, I just asked the attorney general to enforce the law that's on the books. If people want to demonstrate someplace off away from their home, that's their prerogative. But again, this is not a final ruling. It's a draft ruling. Right. And clearly, these these demonstrations are being pulled together to try to influence the final outcome. And that is prohibited based on federal statute. Just like at the southern border, when Democrats have politics that conflicts with the law, Clay, all of a sudden the law is nullified. It doesn't matter anymore. Now, I understand people will say, well, he's the governor, but this is he's referring to the federal statute, yes. which specifically goes after um, intimidation of a federal judge, in this case, a Supreme Court justice or justices. The state statute, which we've also looked at here on the show in Virginia, is more along the lines of like a local nuisance ordinance where you yeah. can't protest outside of someone's home. It doesn't have that judicial intimidation component. So it's probably, even if you enforced it, likely to be more li- more along the lines of, you know, a fine, maybe a, you know, maybe a bench ticket to appear before a judge. So, with, uh, you know, so, you know, it, look, I, I get it. People want him to take because I've seen some conservatives who are upset at Yunkin over this one. They wanted him to take a stronger line on this one. But that doesn't mean we should forget that the attorney general and the FBI could say, hey, knock this stuff off. We're going to we're going to arrest people for judicial intimidation. That actually has some teeth. That actually is a serious statute. And here is where I would just come down with the content neutral policies in place. What do we think Merrick Garland would do if, let's say, the Supreme Court had upheld the vaccine uh, mandate of Joe Biden, forcing 84 million people who were employed to go get covid shots, which, by the way, have minimal at best effectiveness for many people out there. Okay, I'm waiting for my seventh, and then I know it's really going to kick in. That's really where it's going to kick in. Uh, But, Buck, what do you think would happen if the liberal justices were being picketed and people were standing outside of their homes screaming at them? In the way, this would be a continuation of January 6th. It would be on the front page of every major newspaper, New York Times, Washington Post, and there would be a demand on MSNBC and on CNN, that something be done to stop these protesters outside of the homes of these Supreme Court justices that are trying to intimidate uh, these justices for their decision. And I feel like Merrick Garland might well act. I really do, because it would allow him to continue the right wing is out of control in this country. We have to use the Department of Justice to help to rein in their behavior. But yet nothing happening right now at all with uh, the same thing for... Uh, these conservative ju- judges. How does how does the uh, the deep state and how do do Democrats use the power that they have within the federal bureaucracy, even under a Republican president, by the way, when they have political uh, political equities, you could say at stake. R- r- remember what they did? The special counsel, of course, independent of operating largely independent of. I mean, it is within technically the uh, control of the DOJ, but it's meant to be independent. Remember what they did to uh, Roger Stone in his uh, in his pajamas? They sent oh, yeah. in a, a Every Bin Laden media style in raid. America was there yeah. to watch. I mean, they 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 well they invited CNN to essentially live stream the arrest of Roger Stone. They sent a few dozen guys with long guns and flak vests in, yep. and they made sure it was on TV. That is intimidation. 
to show people, yeah, you step out of line, you do anything that we don't like and, and that has a political impact, we'll send men with guns to your home at 4 a.m. to humiliate you and to throw the cuffs on you instead of just... What would have happened if they called Roger Stone and said, look, you need to surrender yourself to the U.S. Attorney's Office or you know, to an AUSA tomorrow? He would have been there. But they made an arrest to make a point, and they did it in a way meant to humiliate, degrade, and threaten. That's how the Democrats play the game. Now, on the other side of it, are they going to enforce a statute against clear judicial intim- intimidation with this issue at stake? No, and I'll tell you, I think there are some Democrats who were, you know, I think Chuck Schumer feels like, if he doesn't sound like a wacko on this one and far leftist and everything else, they'll be picketing outside his home next. So, Well, he's claiming that they already are, right? Did you hear his answer for why he didn't have a problem with it? Now, to be fair, Dick Durbin, one of the top Democrats in the Senate, said no, they shouldn't be protesting outside of Supreme Court justice. But Schumer said, Buck, well, they already do it three or four days a week outside of my own home. And I'm thinking to myself, who in the world is protesting Chuck Schumer? Maybe left wingers for uh, some apparently reason. Apparently, I'm, I'm late on the uptake here. Apparently, they're already there protesting Schumer. But that's the point: is that the wacko left here is you? They're pulling all the levers they can on this issue. 